For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, now we're going to do these two problems that says the three supporting uh, cables exert the forces shown on the sign. We present each one as a Cartesian vector and then, and then find the resultant force of the two forces acting in point A and the coordinate direction angles of said force. So whenever you have these problems, the first thing you want to do is find the position vectors. So A sits at 5i plus 0j plus 0k. B sits at 0i plus 2j plus 3k. C sits at 0i minus 2j plus 3k. D sits at 2i plus 0j plus 0k. And lastly, E sits at 0i plus 0j plus 3k. So now that you have the position vectors, then you're going to find, we're going to find a c univector which is this tiny vector with a length of 1 right here. To do so, first we need to find a c vector, the vector that goes from A to C. can be found by doing um, sorry, yeah, Cx minus Ax in the i plus Cy minus Ay in the j plus Cz minus Ac in the k. This comes out to be negative 5i minus 2j plus 3k when you plug the numbers in for c and a into this formula. Now that you have the vector ac, we need to find the magnitude and the magnitude can be found by doing the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square which is equal to 6.164 this is the magnitude and now we can find the univector univector a to c is equal to the vector ac divided by the magnitude ac which comes out to be negative 0.811i minus 0.324j plus 0.487k this is a univector so what you do to find fc which goes along the univector that we just found. We got that the magnitude of Fc is equal to 400. So Fc is equal to negative 324.4i minus 129.6j plus 194.8k. It's a point right here. And this is the vector form of FC. Now we're going to go to FB. Now you could do this whole same thing for vector AB, but you don't have to because if you look at it just by looking at it, you can see that FC and FB have the same magnitude of 400 and they're perfectly symmetrical along the x axis, along the, I'm sorry, x and c plane. S that means that FB is going to be equal to negative 324i positive 129.6j plus 194.8k. This is for FB. So what do we do? 
we just looked at the at the diagram and we see that FC and FB are the exact same thing as if it was a mirror as if uh, the X and C plane was a mirror that means that the only thing that changes sign is the Y so you can see that for the first force is negative 129 and for the second force is positive 129 FC is negative 129 because it's going towards the negative Y axis and FB is positive 129 because it's going towards the positive Y axis everything else remains the same so now we got two forces and we don't have to go through all the trouble of finding this one just by looking at it and the last four which is FE this force uh, right here first we need to find the vector DE and this vector comes out to be negative 2i plus 0j plus 3k you find this vector the same way we found the AC vector found the magnitude of DE which is 3.606 and you can find the magnitude with the same formula you used to find the magnitude of AC and then you find the uni vector of the E which is the vector over the magnitude so the uni vector comes out to be negative 0.555i plus 0j plus 0.832k this is the uni vector and all you gotta do to found okay you know that Fe the magnitude is equal to 350 it's given right here so you know that Fe is equal to negative 194.25i plus 0j plus 291.2 K so now we got the three forces acting on the pole we got the three forces acting on the pole in Cartesian vector form which is the first exercise that we had to do the second one is to find the resultant force of FC and FB so let me draw a line here So the resultant force is equal to Fc plus Fb. They just want the resultant force of the forces at point A, so they want you to ignore Fe. So the resultant force between the two is negative 648.8i plus 0j. 0j because the y forces cancel out since they're perfectly symmetrical and going in opposite directions plus 389.61 k so this is the resultant force vector the magnitude can be found the same way you find the magnitude here of AC basically you square these three components and you square root them and you're gonna get that the resultant force is 756.79 and if you want to find the angles of the resultant force you find them by doing the cosine inverse of the components of divided by the magnitude cosine inverse of beta over the magnitude and cosine inverse over the magnitude sorry this is not beta this is uh, y and this is c x y and c so when you do this you're gonna get that the angle is 149.01 degrees the second angle since it's zero is gonna be 90 degrees and the last angle is gonna be 59.01 degrees so this is it for the second part you get the angles and the resultant force so basically what we did is the cosine inverse of the x component divided by the magnitude the second one we did the y component which is 0 divided by the magnitude that's why it's 90 and the last one we did the 
C component divided by the magnitude and we got 59.01 final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you